What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Um, in the next few minutes, we'll do a quick price prediction and price analysis of XPR, not to be confused with XRP. A uh, better name to call it is Proton. I li like that name more as well. So main reason we're doing this analysis, I think you all know if you're, if you're watching this video, is this huge bullish day we've had, uh, which I think it is, uh, is deserved. I've done, an anal I've done analysis on uh, Proton or XPR more often, and I think it's a great project. Uh, yeah very innovative so yeah i think they deserve it but in this video we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing a more short-term technical analysis and see where it can actually go in the upcoming days uh, because obviously uh, we have had quite a bull run uh, but i do think we have stalled a little bit so um, what i think is more most likely i mean here we found uh, resistance at the ski level at around 1.8 cents i mean it's it's I always don't like pronouncing the the, the, nine, the prices like that or stating the prices like that, but it is 1.8 cents. Found resistance there and we're actually dropping quite a bit. I mean, in the end, this is quite a massive bull run and most cryptos, I mean, obviously they can do that. And XPR, it's a great project, but this much of a bull run, I think it just needs a little bit of a resting. So I think we're dropping down to at least 1.5 cents in the beginning at least. Uh, so that's the first psychological support level as well. It could very well be that we consolidate a little bit between uh, 1.7 and 1.5 cents. Uh, but in the end, I do think we're dropping down to like more 1.36. 1.3 would be the, the like the ultimate support level. Because frankly, it's quite a big uh, key level, as you can see. It, it ranges all the way from 1.3 up until 1.4. I do think we will find support there. So that's still, I mean, over the long term, that's still quite bullish. Um, so yeah, as I said, we might see a consolidation first between 1.5 and 1.6, 1.7. Ultimately, I think we're dropping down a little bit lower to more like 1.4, 1.36. And from there, I actually do think we can start a small uptrend again. Maybe we need to consolidate a little bit more. So in a little bit of a broader uh, consolidation range between 1.3 and 1.7 cents. But I do think we can then start an uptrend again within like a week, week and a half. And the main thing we're looking for is breaking that 1.8 cents area. Um, and it would be great if we actually broke and closed above it. But I think it's also still valid if we get there and close at around 1.8 cents. And then we can take a break retest off of 1.7, which would be quite close, but also but also off of 1.6, 1.62 to be precise. Uh, and I think that's enough to actually get us to, to the next price target, in my opinion, which is um, uh, a conservative price target, but it's a really strong resistance area. And that's two cents. Big psychological, but you can see there's also a big confluence of uh, this is a major trend line. Another trend line, not a major one, but still a trend line. Quite respected here. You see, it's not perfectly respected here. No, here it isn't, here it is, here it isn't, here it is, here it isn't, here it is. It's just, but the confluence of that area is, in my opinion, strong enough resistance to actually uh, be a good price target. Uh, so yeah, that's the main thing we're looking for. Uh, that's basically my analysis for now on Proton. If you do have any questions about the analysis, then as always, please let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible. But as for now, thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.